Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Will Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So I hope you're well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your first card. So message for Taurus, what's the overarching energy or message for Taurus please? For the week, angels, spirits, guides, overarching energy or message for Taurus for the week. Thank you. That flew out, so let's go with that one. We have the Fool, new beginnings, new chapters. Okay. Message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. We have communication. Okay, angels, what is the message for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. Message for Taurus. For the week. What do we have for Taurus for the week? That kind of wanted to come out. Let's you're ready. <laughs> There's definitely an energy of this week. You're ready for something. It feels everything is set. I'm definitely getting this energy of the scene is set. Everything is ready. Okay. Let's pull some cards, Taurus, and see what we get. So I pull three cards. The first card, as you know by now, is your issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. The third card is your outcome, future outcome. Then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, I'm gonna do one more shuffle here. So message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides, thank you. Queen of Swords is your challenge position. Ace of Swords is advice from Spirit. And we have the Eight of Pentacles here, Taurus. Okay, let's clarify. Can we clarify, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Can we clarify, thank you, for Taurus? Yeah, we have the Four of Swords here, Taurus. Ace of Swords. We have with the Five of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles we have with the Hermit bottom of the deck we have the page of cups okay there is definitely an energy here Taurus um, I the message remains the same whichever life area this applies to you because you know I could read this for love I could read this in terms of money career so the kind of message remains the same the message is that there is a powerful new beginning. The Fool is a card of liberation. Um, ready to open a new door. And it's a major new beginning. It's the major beginning of a new cycle. It's big energy. And it's when it, the message is you're ready for this. You are absolutely ready to turn a page, step through a new door. Something is happening this week and it feels that you're ready to shed the load of the past because the fool carries very little baggage. So whatever you've been dealing with, it feels like there is a powerful new chapter, new door opening for you. And it's linked with this, some communication coming your way. <laughs> um, you might be having conversations with somebody, you might be having... Um, Yeah, there may well be some news or communication or some information coming your way that you've been waiting for. 
and it's opening a new door. The message is everything is set. The time is now. It definitely feels this kind of energy. We have in a challenge position, which is an, it's an interesting energy, the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So the Four of Swords can be a card of... The Four of Swords can be reflection and recovery. So it feels like you've been recovering from something and trying to get clarity and seeing the way forward. And that can be that Queen of Swords energy. How do I move forward? How do I make balanced judgments? How do I get clarity in the decisions and choices I need to make? But for some of you, you could also be recovering from a Queen of Swords. Now, this is Libra for me as a reader. Could be air energy, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Could be somebody who represents the energy. Now, in the challenge position, the Queen of Swords isn't... It's, it's quite a cold energy in the challenge position. Um, can sometimes be somebody who can be cold-hearted, um, quite negative with words, communication. Uh, so it might well be for some of you, you might have been dealing with somebody like this. Uh, could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could also be words used as weapons, that kind of energy. Um, it can also be in terms of business career. But you're definitely trying to get perspective in how to bring balance back into your life. So there's definitely this kind of energy of recovering, trying to see the, see the way forward something that has really got on top of you. We have the Five of Cups here, Taurus, which can be a card of loss. Can also be a card of regrets, looking back. So there could be somebody in your life, this could be you struggling to move on from the past, struggling to get your head around a situation to recover and move forward. This can also be somebody in your life regretting, regretting their actions. It could be this Queen of Swords, you know? So for some of you, the Ace of Swords is saying, yeah, some of you are struggling to move on. This can be a card of feeling down, pessimistic, loss. I mean, it can be linked with, um, you know, regrets in terms of relationships. It can be linked with loss in terms of, of jobs for example the struggle in terms of moving forward but there's definitely an energy of all is not lost with the two cups being full behind this person though the more they focus on the negative the cups that are spilt they miss the opportunity the potential of what those two cups being full mean in the present so there's definitely an energy of now is the time to look forward and for some of you it feels that something's going to happen here i mean the ace of swords is a card of breakthroughs it can also be in terms of getting mental clarity. So getting clarity in dealing with a situation, decisions, choices, how you open a new door, how you bring that sword down and cut cords with the past. You know, it can be that kind of energy. For some of you, this can also be some kind of breakthrough that you've been working towards. So it, it feels for some of you that you've been struggling to move on from whatever it feels whatever this energy was with this Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Cups. But there's definitely some powerful door opening, some clarity or epiphany. It can also be some kind of breakthrough that's coming your way. This is a card of victory and success as well. Can be to do with truth, seeing the truth of a situation or the truth of somebody. Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles. I mean, we have two Virgo energies here, which definitely means that you're getting on track to heal. The Hermit is a card of shining the light from within and understanding how you need to take action in your external environment. It's a great vibrational razor from within. Um, so healing. Yeah, it definitely feels for some of you there is healing going on here. You might be working through a situation in terms of love, romance, relationships. It can also be the Eight of Pentacles where you might be, it can be the card of some kind of internship or apprenticeship. 
can be to do with education, learning, um, bettering yourself, you know, um, expanding your skill set, that kind of energy. Um, the, the, the Eight of Pentacles is essentially small steps bring giant leaps. This is somebody who works hard doing what they're good at to bring material gain into their life as well. So for some of you, it feels that you're being enlightened if it's to do with money and career. To bring greater stability, security, success into your life as well. Feels very, very beautiful, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, it's also a card of, of mastery. So whatever this situation was, by working through it, by focusing either on your money or working through a situation, you are bringing change, positive change, either in terms of money, career, finances, or in terms of the healing that needs to go on here. Now, the Page of Cups, this can be an apology. This can be an apology, a peace offering for some of you. So again, it might well be to do with this situation. Again, this can also be to do with creative opportunities, something that brings you joy, some kind of offer or an invitation, creative opportunities in particular, Taurus, something that will allow you to express who you are. Again, there's a feeling for some of you, if it's to do with money, career, finances, this can be some communication that opens a new door, either in terms of apology or in terms of offer opportunity, some kind of creative opportunity or something that's very close to your heart, something that is something that you really want, something that brings you joy, uh, something that you've been working towards. That is the opportunity, some kind of message because the pages are messengers to do with an opportunity here. And that can be communication is opening a new door for you. So it feels very beautiful. It feels very hopeful. It feels that you're definitely doing your earth thing here. This is earth energy, the eight of pentacles and understanding how to master and get back on track and being, bring gain into your life. Um, definitely a beautiful, beautiful energy for that reason. The message is just focus on the positive, what is going to bring you stability, security, gain, um, growth in your life. And do that rather than focusing on these three cups that are empty, you know, because that will just bring more emptiness. And I definitely feel that you're getting the clarity to do that. And that is definitely opening some kind of new door. But it feels very beautiful. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. Yeah. The other thing that I'm getting here, Taurus, and I will say... Sometimes in the challenge position, this can be about being stagnated, maybe waiting on some communication here. So again, if there's been delays in communication, there's definitely some kind of breakthrough. So that's the only other thing that I can get in this reading. But apart from that, it feels very, very hopeful. I'm going to pull a final message, final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus for the week. Final message for Taurus for the week. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you see, life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy, energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. And I definitely get the energy of this is where you are raising your vibration. You are dealing what, with the, what this five of cups represents and you were understanding how to move forward. So very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.